Hello! Today we are visiting Natalia Sorokina again. We are here in search of a new portion of inspiration in order to shoot a short tutorial on making a handle for a basket. Natalia has already shown this kind of a handle at Stranomaster of website. However, to my mind, it is very convenient and is worth a separate video tutorial. Hello! Today I'd like to introduce you a pocket shape handle. You put your hand inside like this and it is very easy to carry a big basket this way. This handle is very easy and fast to view. I have shown it at Strana Mastero website, but there is no separate tutorial on it. It has been presented in one of my blogs. Here is my basket. This one is provided with a handle. Let's try making the one like this for the second one. At first you have to decide for yourself what size of a handle you want to make, a deep one or a shallow one, and how wide it is supposed to be. This handle is wide enough for a handle to get inside. If you measure it is about 10 cm, which is about 4 inches. As for deepness, I believe we can make it a bit deeper. This one is 3 cm, 1 inch, so let's make the second one 5-6 cm deep, 2 inches. In order for both handles to be identical, even though you don't see both of them at a time, but still it's better making them identical, I make a simple cliché, take a piece of regular perforated card and bend it into halves and mark it out. So we've decided to make it 10 and 6 centimeters, 3 and 2 inches, so we mark 1 and a half inches because it is half and 2 inches height. Now we draw a kind of a semi-oval. So we've made a sample. Let's cut it with the help of scissors. It is what we've got. Unbend. Our handle is going to be like this. Now let's find a center of a side of our article and outline a sample. You may outline it either with a pencil or a marker. If your article is dark, you may draw it out with a piece of chalk. It's up to you. The center is somewhere here. So we have to apply a handle pattern onto a basket. Now let's define the height where a handle is supposed to be. It is not reasonable to place it too high, even ports don't have handles at the very top. And it is not convenient to put a handle too low, so I believe the optimal place is somewhere close to the top. Outline a cliche this way. In our case a pencil line will be clearly seen because the basket is green and yellow. Outline only the upper part, the lower part doesn't matter for us. Anyway, the lower line has to go alone one row. So I've outlined the sample this way from both sides. Let's pass on to the next stage of making a handle. We insert tubes along the outline. Bend the tubes into halves and insert them with the help of a knitting needle. As a result we've got such tails. Look, at the wrong side we get such loops. If they are of the same color as the article is, they are almost invisible. How to insert the tubes? First of all, you have to calculate the tubes in order to insert them symmetrically. If we consider this pair of tubes as a central one, then we have one, two, three tubes inserted to the left. It means that there are one, two, we still have to insert the third tube to the right. In order to get it to the same level, I have it inserted here. Insert a knitting needle, put a tube onto a needle and lead it through.
There is one tail sticking out so far, now we have to lead it through here. It doesn't matter much if we shift it a uh, roll up or down, it will not spoil the pattern anyway. Now we put the second end onto the tube, the second end sorry, of the tube onto a knitting needle and lead it through. This way we take both ends out and pull them tight. That's all. You see one, two, three, the central pair. One, two, three. That's all. Let's continue weaving. We've inserted seven tubes and got fourteen tails as a result. We use four tails as the central ones. As for the fives from the sides, we mark them. We are going to weave prolonged rows, so we are going to inweave them gradually by turn. One, two, here is the fifth tube, and from the opposite side, one, two, here is the fifth one. Here are four tubes left. The number of central tubes doesn't necessarily have to be four, it may be three or whatever, it depends on the number of tubes you insert. Take a look. Put it onto a tube and start weaving. Weaving the technique of a regular rope. We pull the tubes very tight so that the inside part of loops adjoin tightly to the basket. And the same here. 4. I woven 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn backward. I've turned this way and start weaving in the opposite direction. Well, it's not very convenient, but anyway, we move back this way. We've woven our four tubes once again, and now we are involving the next tube. Here I engage one tube to the right, Lengthen the tubes and move back where we are going to engage one more tube. Here I have lengthened the tubes and hung the first pole of the five poles to the right. Continue weaving. While weaving, start bending the tubes a little. Our handle is not supposed to be placed horizontally like this, it is going to adjoin the side of an article. So we are approaching the tubes closer to the article's surface. Now we hug one of the five poles to the left in a similar way. And go back. Pull everything tight. We are weaving in the technique of an opposite rope, aren't we? Well, it's up to you, it depends on what kind of a pattern you'd like to get, whether a rope or a braid. I'm not sure if I'm weaving direct or opposite rope here. For me, it's inconvenient to weave in this direction. I'm just laying the stitches in such a way to get a rope, not a braid. Well, even if you get a braid as a result, it's okay as well. So here I have involved the next pole, the fourth one already. Now we are going to engage one more, third pole from the right. Turn back, press. Don't forget to bend the tubes. You may do it while weaving in that direction, which is more convenient for you. For me it's easier weaving right to left, so I bend the tubes in this row. Continue this well, this way till all the tubes get involved in work. Look, the handle is becoming clearly seen. I've had this pole, now I'm turning back again and so on. When you start priming the article, you will get a chance to smoothen it still better. 
Let me show you what I do with the last two tubes on the example of the second handle. Here they led through toward inside already. The handle has been woven. You may either bend the tails like you usually do or just cut them. It's up to you. So I've woven 12 rows here, the same as in the second handle. Now I'm just inserting two last working tubes inside the article. One tube and the second one into the same gap. Pull them tight. Like this. That's all. Let me repeat my words once again. You may either bend the end of the pole like this over each next pole, but you will have to cut the tails anyway, or you may just cut them right away. This edge is not subject to any load. The main load is carried by the poles inserted into the article. That's why, if you plan to use a basket not for children's toys, but for potatoes or anything heavy, you may insert thin wire inside the poles. It will make the handle very strong. Well, actually that's all.